Hello and welcome to the channel. It's Makia and today is the 10th of September. Okay, let me see. Okay. okay, let me see. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. Uh, I think, as you can see, I'm trying to be consistent. Though it's very hard, it's not easy. Yes, it's not easy. Okay. Um, I had told you guys of my goal of being consistent, and by that I was trying to create out plans also. Like the the goal here is that as the days are going, I will be um increasing my responsibilities. So the things that I have to, I I am supposed to do. The issue that I had before was the fact that. Before, when I wanted to do something, I would crowd like, okay, 50 things. And I, I would end up doing maybe 10 and not doing the rest. So the goal now is to sl slowly but surely train myself to, in, in order to be able to do those things. Yeah. Currently, I've done already, let me see, 30 questions or... Thirty questions, thirty questions. Yes. And I I think today we did eight questions, but we did that in one hour and thirty minutes. In one hour, in one hour and thirty minutes. And but well, it's not bad because one I'm sure of the I'm sure of the answers to so the quality is there. Yes, and the goal is that I want to be doing this thing so that I can at least take, so that I can be sure that, okay, by the time that we have school, I can take one app a day doing this, this kind of questions. And I will be able to, so that I will be able to know that in a day I will need to consecrate this, um, this, um, this particular time to, in, in order to, move towards my goals yes it's it's hard but at least i'm happy we are finished we have 60 54 tests for the food years for, for the fifth years we're finished with one full the a to z mostly, mostly because it had 15 questions and I, I think i did three days there i don't remember but let me see like two or two days mm -hmm. i was doing like gradually like three then I did like four, yeah, something like that, yes. And at least that way I felt less burned out than to rush between me. Now, the next thing that I will do is that I will take that question and put it into Anki. Let me show you. Let me put down this, my Wi-Fi box. Basically, this is, uh, this is the question here. I've translated this question in English. And the reason for doing this is that I also want to improve on my English vocabulary. Yes, so that's why I'm doing that. So I will come here. I will then turn the, this is a question in Notion. I will come here and export it. I think it's HTML or something. There's a site here called Notion to Anki. Let's go there. I don't think let's check. No change to Anki. In which format? I don't, I, I don't know the format I should export it into. Okay. I will export it in HTML. Okay, export it in HTML. I would export I would export the cards in HTML the content anyways and then I would send oh, let me see where it's going to download okay then once I'm done I'll send this thing to this side so wait oh the wait 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 so the reason for doing this is that by doing it this way, we'll create flashcards. And in Anki, 
and since I've, I've already taken time to master the questions with Anki, I will just cons- uh, I will just consolidate my knowledge. So that's the whole goal there. So for every question that I will be doing, I will be doing this same system. Once maybe I do like fifteen questions or like twelve, I'll I will package it and put it into Anki so that I can be treating it. Though it's hard, but I will try to be consistent with this method. Okay. That's it. That's the zip file there. As you can see, it just came in. So I will just put it into this. And now it should be loading. Okay, uh, that's the question they test one. That's what they come up. What I'll do now is that I'll open Anki. This Anki. Uh huh. That's what Anki is loading. <sighs> it's been a long journey. Finally, I'm being consistent. Anki is loading. Let's read that Anki. And as you can see in Anki, I haven't been so consistent, but from today, I want to be consistent. In Anki, I will simply come to the file and import what I just downloaded. You see, we have created around 15 creations. It means 16. Let me say, I want to do it for. But these questions, say these two questions I, I, I made to myself, but anyways. I will just leave it there and I'll put it into Anki. So, this would. So, the goal of this question is that, um, of this whole process is that we have um, our. the. the tests. We have our tests um, in February. Yeah, so we are four months from, we are four months from the test. But the issue is that. Um, time is money. I don't want to wait towards the test period in order to know the questions. So I want to do spaced repetition. And the goal is that once I do it, I, I do it for all of these questions. I, I also want to prepare for the US MLE and our national and our um, the ECN in Cameroon, the, something like the US MLE. So the goal here is to really is to impregnate this concept into my mind that is the whole concept today as you can see it's already on Anki and now I will simply just have to practice the questions go to questions uh I know that are exocrine glands xx no there is the local corticoids you see so it's the same thing Like I said, okay, good. Which condition is likely to cause this lipidemia? Hyperthyroidism causes lipid disorder, adrenal insufficiency, so yes. Hypercriticism, not really, not really, the rest of it. And this will also help me to revise this concept. What is the LDCL level in patient? There's one formula that's covered, that which formula again that does it. But at least you get the concept behind this. That thing then okay the second thing that as, as i started doing today was this uh, there's in there's this aspect of cold calling people that is people that have this sas or i don't know how they call it they call it s-a-m-p or something like that people that have this yeah okay people that are trying to build their own uh, agencies so they would they, they have this this spirit of calling people of code call of code calling people and telling and telling them of what they are di- of what uh, they are trying to do. So in that same aspect, I want to do this that same thing, but uh, uh, in my country, since WhatsApp is the most common, I will instead text my classmates. 
what I did was that I, I created a list. This list here. Ah, uh, it's, it's not clear, but anyway, that's the list. So, that's the list. It's in pencil format. I've uh, 1440 of my classmates, that like people that I know. Um, because I think when you know somebody, at least the person is able to trust you more. So, my first goal is that I want to be able to convince these people is that like um wait and i'm doing this because on the stars wait wait wait, wait but just give me two minutes because on the stars they said that when you want to launch a product it's best that you you will first of all pre, um, try to see if there are people that can buy your 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 app by the by the time that the app is ready so is that I don't want to make the app. Then when then once the app is out, people don't want to buy for it. I want to tell them now and just let them know so that by the time that the app is out, they will be able to buy and use the app. Okay. So that's the whole concept there. See you guys tomorrow.